This episode's Road Trip Vehicle, 1984 Buick Regal Limited Coupe 3.8 liter two barrel V6. Today on Road Trips, we head north to Washington State to check out the wildlife at the retreat known as Northwest Trek. So now, let's hit the road. Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Road Trips. I'm Todd Hilton. Oh, oh. And I'm Dan Bradley. And uh, today we're going to be taking you to a, uh, a little, quaint little uh, hideout uh, called uh, Northwest Trek. Uh, it's here in Washington State. We're, uh, we're starting our trip here at uh, the state capital, Olympia. We're in a little uh, shopping center. Um, we're right next to uh, the, the Ross here, you know, where they sell clothes for less, or is it less clothes for more? I don't know. <laughs> Something like that, but uh, anyway, um, our, uh, our trip today should, uh, we're, we think we're a little less than an hour away from our, our destination, uh -huh. which, uh, which if, if you've never heard of Northwest Trek, it's kind of like a... Uh, like a wildlife safari? Yeah, it's kind of like one of those things. And they got a little train that goes through and you can see the animals and stuff. But uh, uh, it looks like a cool place to go. So uh, right about now, we're, uh, we're going to jump in the car and get going. <laughs> okay, folks, we are now on our way. Uh, we had a little mishap due to my own stupidity, as usual. <clears throat> It's amazing how one little cable can, by placing tiny little classified ads in it. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's something totally different. Um, no, it's amazing how one little cable can uh, mess up an entire uh, show here, but. Uh, we got it. We got it. Hopefully, it won't happen again. See, that's why we have Radio Shack people. Yes. And though I. And though uh, sometimes the uh, people who work at Radio Shack are not always uh, very right. knowledgeable, <laughs> um, they are around when you need them. As long as you know what you're looking for, you're fine. <laughs> uh, you want what again? <laughs> you want what? Want fries with that? <laughs> yeah. So we had to get an emergency uh, cable so that uh, so that you folks can can hear us uh, talking to you. You want fries with that? Fries with that? You folks saw the uh, the Pendleton episode with uh, with Holly and I. You you know why we we made sure we had a cable. We didn't have uh, the use of our microphone, and uh, for a similar reason, there was an adapter that was forgotten. And um, so we couldn't use the mic. Had it, but we couldn't use it. Great. Yes. <laughs> so now. We have it this time, so we can use the mic. Um, okay, we originally started in Olympia. Uh, we're now in Lacey, um, just like a couple miles up. And uh, hopefully soon we'll be entering back onto the freeway, I-5 North. So if we don't get lost. If we don't get lost, yeah. Okay, it's not back. It's a red out back. Yeah. While I'm thinking of it, uh, let's go to our map. We'll show you where we're at. We're here in uh, here in Lacey, Washington, uh, and uh, as I said, we're about to uh, enter enter I-5. Taking a little turn here. Turn here. Turn here. Hopefully, our camera setup is sufficient. We'll find out here real quick. Yeah. Um, okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm just thinking, I sure hope I'm turning at the right spot here. I know, don't say that. <laughs> we've had, a, we've had a, a rough start today. Seattle, left lane. Think I need to get in the left lane? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, that yeah, could I work. I really don't want to go to Portland. No, seeing as how that's not where we're going. <laughs> Beagle? Is that a beagle? No, that is a cutlass. That's cutlass. Easily mistaken for one though. Yeah, I've seen a lot of those in the last couple days. Oh, it kind of looks like. Turn back there. 
<laughs> what? What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Just a minute. Damn. I've noticed. Uh, I've noticed in one of the episodes uh, that aired just recently, from when we were taping this, um, I actually uh, forgot to uh, ask for the map. <laughs> Uh, uh. I didn't ask for the map, so so you folks uh, didn't uh, didn't get to see. Do I need to turn here? Yes, I do. I see a sign that says freeway entrance. Totally obscured, but freeway entrance. Yeah. Turn here. Turn here. I'm hoping our camera setup is sufficient for our uh, our shoot today. So far, so good. Yeah. We have a picture. We have our handy-dandy little monitor there. Ensuring that we have a uh, visual. Let's get a visual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we've double-checked our audio to make sure that we that we have audio. Uh, we do have audio. Yes. Hopefully, we should be next. That's an ugly color for a vehicle. Yes. But the yellow? Yes. On that one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Competition or that's kind of borderline. Huh. Of course, it also depends on the type of car you put on, too. Yeah. You wouldn't want to put a competition or on, say, a rabbit or something like that. <laughs> no. Okay, come on, girl. Take it up. Well, I was, uh, yeah, we're, we're, not... we're talking about the speed limit earlier. Actually, it uh, won't apply here because it's Speed limit 60. Yes, there have been times we're actually able to get up to uh, 75. Well, we had it up to 80 earlier. Oops. <laughs> she actually goes that fast? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The speedometer right. stops at 85. 85. Yeah, it blinks at 85. That's right. Holly was telling me that on on our uh, on her way back from Portland after, after chasing me. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that? Okay. Um, she wasn't sure how fast she was going. <laughs> I was leaving her behind. Yeah. Uh, leaving her, I left her behind. <laughs> what? Oh, you were in the Le Mans. Too. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. I was going, what, about 110? 115? <laughs> is your speedometer even working that? Oh, does it? Probably about the only thing that does. <laughs> right yeah. there by the mills? Yeah. I got up to 130. Right on. With no one in front of you, I'm sure. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had, uh, yeah. yeah, I had a state cop in front of me, Todd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, he's going fast. Right on. <laughs> I gotta get me one of those. Uh, um, gotta catch me, that guy. <laughs> yeah. Think of fines. Uh. Yeah. Um, I believe the uh, the turnoff we're looking for, the exit, is like. Was it seven? It's like a highway seven? Yeah, highway seven. <coughs> of course, there's another one, but we want the uh, red paved road. <laughs> I know we were looking on the map, and uh, <laughs> and there was like a red, a, a red road and a black road. I looked at the at the uh, legend on the map there, and it said they were paved, Pay, like paved highways or something. And that was about it. <laughs> I was like, okay. Hey, for us. We're hoping like one of them wasn't like gravel or something. Yeah. It's like, okay, I don't think we want to take the gravel road at uh, 70 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I once had a bad experience with that. No. <laughs> Actually, a couple bad experiences <laughs> with gravel roads. See, one of you were with tire. me on one, yeah. <laughs> The other one costs three thousand dollars. We won't, we won't get into that. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, um, I believe we're heading north, aren't we? Yes, I think so. Deer, two miles. Deer. Oh. All these yellow plants on the side of the road look awfully familiar. I think that's like Scotch broom or something. Didn't we drive through those during the first season? Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, way back in the in the in the first season, third episode. Jump through sky. Yeah, off road part two. 
not, not to be confused with Off-Road 99. Now, even though these shows are airing in 2000, most of them were shot in 99. Yeah. yeah. Unlike this one. Unlike this one, yes. Um, but as we said, uh, I believe I mentioned in the Pendleton episode, you, you won't be seeing the shows in the order that they were shot in. Um, what we've done is we've actually shot, uh, we shot all the episodes we could, and then basically kind of weeded them out from there and, and put them in kind of a, not really a logical sequence, but uh, a sequence according. <laughs> and, there, and there's Dan's truck right there. Um, put them in a sequence that uh, according to like how much it cost us to make the episode. Because <laughs> uh, we've got a couple of... Uh, Freebies. Uh, freebies, so to speak, uh, slash no-brainers, <laughs> and we, we we wanted to spread those out, you know, because we we don't uh, we don't I don't know I can't think of a I can't think of a word. They're not they're not our best episodes, but you know they're usually pretty fun. You know the no the the low budget no-brainers. Yeah, they're they're fun to do. They just they just didn't cost us anything to do other than just you know maybe a little bit of gas and that was about it. But uh, it's like our road road trip ready episode. Road trip ready. That will, that will cost us absolutely that, absolutely nothing. Um, you know what? I think it's a good time to switch lanes. What do you think? <laughs> oh yes. Because uh, we're we're almost right behind an RV park. Or an RV, Clark. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a, just, a, just a big trailer. It's cooler. Yeah. Is that what they call those? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Just to uh, just to remind you folks out there, our destination today is a place called Northwest Trek. Um, it's a it's a cool uh, place that has a lot of animals. It's it's kind of like the zoo, only better. Because the animals are out and about, they're not penned up and stuff, and we get to see them in their in their natural habitat, or pretty much, with the exception of like a train track going through the field. You know? There's one down there, uh, similar to the. I, I'm guessing here, I haven't seen it, but it seems like it's similar to the one down to down in uh, down near Winston. Yeah, because that's where the I think that's where the wildlife safari is yeah. is in Winston. That'd be another one I'd like to do. Um, thing is, Winston is, is, uh, is aren't those cigarettes? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Down in uh, in uh, in uh, Benson and Hedges, you know, down there in that area. <laughs> down there in Marlboro. <laughs> yeah, down there in Marlboro country. Uh, <laughs> too easy. Um, no, down there. That's that's not a uh, that's not just a couple hours away. Winston is like. It's six. southern Oregon. Yeah, it's probably a six-hour drive. Um, it's it's pretty close to the border. I'd have to look it up, but I know it's it's way down there in southern Oregon. Jelly <coughs> Acom to Point Road. Yes. Who? What? Huh? Oh. 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 Okay. Right. Now, one thing we want to make sure is I, I'm 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 uh, notorious for this. Mix missing exits. Um. In fact, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's uh, let's go to our map again. Let's show you where we're at. We're just uh, just about uh, around the area. We're passing uh, St Stella Stella Coom Stella Coom. Stella oh, that's, oh, that's a road. Okay. Point road. Point ex basically exit 119. Exit 119. Okay, you can see on the map approximately where we're at. Um, when we come back to reality here, uh, we have no idea where we're at. <laughs> but of course, when it when it comes time to to edit, you know, I'm sure I'll be able to figure out where we're at on the map. Um, <laughs> problem being that we don't have the map in front of us right right at this particular moment. It might not be a bad idea. Um, is it w even within reach? Uh, probably not. Okay, that's typical of us. <laughs> we're stupid. Actually, Actually, you know how building's not too bad. What's uh, that? Is Fort um, Beer Nuts? 
No. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know what that is too. Fort Lewis. Fort Lewis. Fort Lewis. Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, in fact, we're coming up on the sign for it right now. That's another place I, I like to check out sometime. Fort um, Lewis. No, yeah, Fort, Fort Lewis. Lewis. They got like a museum and stuff there. It's like a military museum. Yeah, Fort Lewis Military Museum. Museum. Next right. Visitor, Visitor pass, pass required. required. I don't know what that is, but uh, no, what you got to call it. Probably have to call in advance to get. Uh, possibly, I don't know. The, I could to, look uh, that up in, I mean, in the uh, in the It's probably book. an active uh, military base. I think it is, because I think I remember my brother talking about that one, talking about Fort Lewis when he was with the guard. You know, if we'd have been smart, we would have pulled out the map before we started moving here. But yeah, this like, is <laughs> yeah, like we're smart, you know. We're bound to get lost. We're bound to get lost. It's road just, trips. We're <laughs> road trips. We're gonna get lost. Um, it has happened. It has happened. Um, the getting lost or the uh... getting lost. Oh. It's happened in an episode. Uh, if you remember, an infamous uh, second attempt episode um, and no I'm not talking about the gorge do you remember the other trip that we, we did it two times to get it right okay. this is road trips trivia here we did it two times we to had get to right. do the show twice before we got it Abe cares. that would be it yeah. remember remember the second time we went up there the place no. was actually open but I was right you were not <laughs> It's a little late to get into that now, uh, but yeah, we 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 got lost. We ended up passing the thing and yeah. having to turn around. Get lost? You gotta be kidding me! We never get lost. We never get lost. Oh no! <laughs> well, it's the same thing to the one with the into a toodle. To uh, we had, we, we passed it to uh, Saint Helens. No. Uh, um, what else did we do up there? Singing one. Oh yeah. We passed that one. <laughs> Our pilot episode, yeah. No doubt. Well we didn't have a clue where we were going. All we had was that, that little hand drawn map for Mr. Pickett. And there was no big chicken. There was no big chicken. You were... <laughs> uh, we're getting into some serious road trip trivia here. Very and first it episode. Go right, we were met we were supposed to go yeah. left. Uh-huh. Yeah, because we got to that first intersection. Um, when we exited onto Jackson Highway, left said, uh, said, said Toledo, and I remember, I remember, I remember vividly, I was standing on my toilet, hanging a clock, the, the porcelain was wet, slipped, hit my head, fell the, okay, <laughs> okay, that wasn't uh -huh. right, um, uh -huh. no, I, I remember that you said, uh, okay, one leads to Toledo, we don't want to go that way, so I guess we turn right, okay, so we, so we took the right fork, and we started driving along, we ended up, what, what the hell were we on? We were on some kind of logging road or something. Something like that. And we, we must have drove on that thing for like two miles and suddenly realized like, this can't be it. <laughs> this cannot possibly be it. So then we ended up on, on, this, on this logging road and finally realized it wasn't right, turned around and uh, and then, but that wasn't, that wasn't the, the that, half of it. No, that wasn't the half of it. We, <laughs> <laughs> we finally, okay, we got going in the right direction towards Toledo. Okay. We, we, we passed the road because the sign must have been what, about, uh... It was like stuck on a tree. It was a little, little tiny little sign. A white sign that yeah. said, uh... said singing wind. Went this yeah. direction. Yeah, you had to pull over and ask directions. Yeah, we must have, we must have went another three miles up the hill and then finally stopped and asked directions, which was probably the smartest thing we could have done. <laughs> and then finally after that, we found it. At least the, the right direction there. Okay. I Turn here. Yeah. Okay. See this? He's pretty sure you can. <laughs> I know, that's, that's uh, a lot of confidence here. It would be a good idea to uh, pull out the map as soon as we possibly could here. 
be on. I could get one of my shorts. <laughs> it says 512 East. 512 East. 512, that don't sound right. No, you want 7. E2. Okay. Um, we're going to get back to you. What's that? Yeah, we're going to get back to you. We're going to uh, find a spot to pull over and check out our map. Um, it this, this sounds right, but it should have been like 7, not 512. Uh-huh. So okay. You lead us onto another highway. Yeah. We're lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's just that simple. We're lost. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna find a place to uh, turn off here. We're in an exit lane right now, so we're gonna turn off and uh, take a look at our map. Steely Street. Yeah. So, uh, we'll, we'll be right back, folks. Okay, we figured it out. You know, it turns out we're on the right track. We're on the right track. We're stupid. <laughs> we didn't look close enough at the map. In fact, let's go back to our map. Okay, we're right here. We just turned on to uh, 512. In fact, we're shortly exiting back onto 512. And then from there, it's a short distance to the uh, exit. Seven to uh, seven. Yeah, seven. Seven is our lucky number for today. That was 69, dude. Oh, that's on every other day. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, we should see signs. In fact, was it? Is it Loveland? Loveland. Yeah. Loveland. Okay, Loveland. that's the one we're looking for. That's the, like the the only major town on that uh, route. At least it looked that way. There's Parkland. That's not right. Oh, Wait a minute. Seven Pacific Avenue, Parkland. Dude, that's not Half right. Half a mile. Well, seven is what we want, so that's that should be that should be correct. You are correct, sir. Uh, yeah. What you got? You got Lacey. No. Yeah. Seven to work. Well, seven's what we want, so. Parkland. Speedway. <laughs> Are we sure it wasn't it uh, was Loveland and not Parkland? I'm sure it was Loveland, wasn't it? Yeah, I I open think it what up we're right going here. to is, is towards Mount Rainier. Let's see. Ooh. Hello. Okay, here we go. Well yeah, it would be this way. It would be to the right. This is Loveland. L O V E L A N D. Loveland. Okay. Well, this should be right then. Okay. You know, this is weird. This almost looks like parts of Vancouver. Here we go. Circle K. Strange things are afoot at, at the, the Circle, Circle K. K. <laughs> <laughs> Flashing yellow lights. Uh, that Flashing. means go very fast. <laughs> Red means stop. Green means go. Yellow means go very, very fast. Yes. Nails and tanning and, 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 hello. South, seven, okay. This is right. That there's an RV, Clark. And that's an RV park. Oh. Park at Clark. Park <laughs> at Clark. I just park at Clark. <laughs> Loveland must be farther down, because this is Parkland here. Well, they got a shroom house. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Top pick pawn brokers. Oh. <laughs> they got a sherm house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny about that. <laughs> Mr. Muffler. Oh, Bucky's. Bucky's? Bucky's. Bucky's. That's what it's called? D U C K Y apostrophe S. Bucky's. Whoa. <laughs> Interesting little town they have here. Actually, I don't know how little it is. I've never been here before. The 
this place is cool. Wees Furners. Uh, Wees Furners. <laughs> Skippers. <laughs> this place is cool. They got 7 Eleven. <laughs> Boy, from a glance, almost looks like Portland. Or the, the, there's yeah. a sign up there that says Parkland Center. They got a Papa Murphy's. <laughs> They're cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Show a pathetically based down upon 7-Eleven and Papa Murphy's. <laughs> <laughs> it, re it really is. I mean, it's, it's like... <laughs> Wow, they got 7-Eleven and Papa Murphy's. This place is cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you're stupid. <clears throat> uh, we've finally gotten out of uh, the main town area. Um, let's see. Uh, actually, first off, let's go to our map. We'll show you approximately where we're at. Um, we're about, uh, I think it said like two miles out of, was it, was it El Elby? LB, something like something that. Like LB, Elbow, RB, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Some, some weird place. Some weird place. Um, and uh, right now we're on the open highway, just a regular two lane highway. We are on Highway 7. Um, I guess that's what you call it, Highway 7. <clears throat> Here in Washington State. We're about 115 miles away from home. Now this I could deal with. This is nice. This is this is nice country out here. I wouldn't want to live back in the, in town there. Apparently, uh, um, it's like three or four Lo towns. Love, not together. Loveland, uh, Parkland, and uh, what was the other one? Skamania. Is that it? No. Something like that. Spanaway. Spanaway. Apparently, Parkland and Spanaway are like back to back. Or like St. Helens Warren, <laughs> that kind of thing. Long Northwest Kelso. Trek Wildlife Park, left half mile. It's like Longview Kelso area, yeah. it's just crunched together. They're just crunched together, and you can't tell the difference. The only way we even knew is we started to see the signs were changing, and it's like the names of like stores and stuff changed to, to Spanaway. Spamaway. Yeah. Okay. Span. Good oh. thing we started taping when we did, because we're approaching the junction. Or Northwest Trek, at least the uh, direction to it. Turn here. Turn here. I think that was it. Left? Yes. Yep, Northwest Trek. Left. Turn here. Turn here. Pioneer Farm Museum. Huh? Okay. Yay! I'm not exactly sure how far away from, uh, from Crash the, uh, place we are, but uh, I don't think it's that far. It should be within, I'd say, five miles. This is good. Is it? Yeah. Well, okay. it's, about, it's about three o'clock right now. They've got tours for the last, uh, for two more hours. Okay, folks. Sorry about that. We are turning uh, well, uh, to another junction. Uh, uh, left. Oh, we're on, okay. 101. Six, one, 161. Okay, let's go to our map. We are on, uh, we're on Route 161, okay, here in Washington State, and I still have no idea how far away we are from Northwest Trek. Close, I hope. We are, uh, should be just minutes away from, uh, reaching our destination, which would be, uh, Northwest Trek. 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 Trek.
Mount Life Park, Northwest. Well, cool. It's a good idea to hold on to the monitor when we're approaching big stops. <laughs> Oops. Yes. Yeah. That's fire burning. Okay. Fire. Okay, we have arrived, folks. It's just a matter of finding. Uh, oh, look at those animals. Oh, there. <laughs> Find a place to park. Pay a fare. Pay a fare. Pay a fare. Pay a fare. Okay, folks, we have arrived. Now it's time to uh, um, get our admission and get our butts in the gate. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll see you inside. Okay, folks, uh, we are now inside uh, Northwest Track here. We just got our tokens for our train ride, and uh, this handy little visitor guide to Northwest Track shows us a uh, whole big map of this place. The place is huge. Um, so we're gonna, we've got about a half hour before our train ride starts, so we're gonna walk around and uh, check some stuff out. Owl exhibit, tour station, Golden Eagle, Forest animals, a little, uh, tough call, dude. What do you think? <laughs> what do we want to see first? Okay, let's see. Well, description here along this trail, we invite you to explore the beauty, variety, and interactions within a western Washington forest. Uh, here, uh, contemplate the life in the forest canopy overhead and in the soil beneath your feet. Identify several common plants. Uh, notice moss and ceilings around the uh, forest. Uh, 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 says the animals are watching us, so we got to look out for that. Because <laughs> they could like be sitting in trees with like guns and stuff, <laughs> sniper squirrels or something. <laughs> Get owls that way. Oh, owls? Oh, oh, owls. Oscar, okay. <clears throat> Didn't they used to be a parts store? Oh. Owls. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Let's see the barn owl. Barn owl. Barn it. Is he in here? Oh, yeah. Look up there, dude. There's two of them sitting together. Where at? Up here above the second window. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do Quiet. here. Quiet. Those are real, aren't they? <laughs> Maybe they're sleeping. I think so. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> Let's see. Now this is the barn owl we just saw, right? Yeah. Okay. Barn owl. Hmm. Talks about uh, uh, barn owl has keen Sense. eyesight even in dim light. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this nocturnal hunter. That's that's why they're asleep. That's what <laughs> okay. And they can go through quite a description there. I won't, I won't go into a whole lot of details here. Is uh, I only have a, a limited time. I like the trails here. They're all nice and paved. That's a big tree, dude. Why or was. Really tree cut and donated Regis. by St. Regis, Regis Mineral, Washington, Washington 1975. Oh, is this old? Year. Yeah. That's the year I was born. Tree's life begins. The, whoa, dude. Tree's life begins 1335. Whoa. Here, let, let me back up here. We'll see. Get a, see, 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 get a frame That's of reference tall here. As I am. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. That thing is huge. Oh yeah, that I thing's mean, as tall tall as we are. I mean, that's width. Yeah. Width, not height. Not it's height. Just width. Oh yeah, imagine the height. That thing had to be thousands of feet tall. I wonder how they how they can trace how old the tree is. But you count the you count the rings, but man, <laughs> that's a lot of rings to count. Look at the look how big the bark is, man. It's huge. Well, let's see here, uh, 1335 used to track, say, 1966 and 1335, and that's approximately Well, yeah, but it is. didn't come with the little tags on it. Well, no, but it didn't, <laughs> but... <laughs> but, so, yeah, it, you, right around that's a lot of counting, years old. Yeah. More owls? Oh. Oh. This might be... Oh, he's in there. He's in there? He's in there, that's snow owl. Oh, yeah. Oh, two of them, right, right there at the base. Oh, those are beautiful. There we go. Snow owls. Well, doesn't that hurt? <laughs> it must be like human human nature. They just gotta think they can talk to the animals. 
Oh. I'm making funny noises. Yeah. yeah, there's two of them in there. Yeah, there's the other one down there. Yeah. I wonder I if it's like, like a male and female here. or what. Yeah. I like the, the big one. The, uh, the black specks throughout the. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna take a look at uh, the Baron Wolf. Yeah. Baron Wolf. <laughs> Baron Wolf. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like the trails they got here. Makes for easy walking. Yes. You know, not like that, you know. Fort Bluffs crap. Yeah. <laughs> not like that crap at Fort Bluffs. See the bear? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is about as close as I want to get to the bear. Yeah. <laughs> I'll score that at 38. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll take a saw off shotgun and walk a little closer. <laughs> what? Bill Huckleberry's. Oh. Oh, like the ones we ate at four class? <laughs> <laughs> Grizzlies. Ooh. Adams? I didn't know you so much. <laughs> yeah, really. Anybody home? Here, yeah, Grizzly, Grizzly, Here, Grizzly, Grizzly. We just saw a black bear. I don't see. Grizzlies are bigger, aren't they? I, I, I certainly hope. There's one. I heard Over it. This way. Oh, wait a second. Over here. I see him. I see him through the Big trees. Big oh, yeah. Hey, He's a big one. Oh, isn't that, isn't that what, uh, isn't that what Ben always said? Yeah. It's gonna be huge. A little bigger than black bear. Yeah, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Man. Huge, isn't he? Yeah. He's got some serious weight on him. He's got like some rolls going there. Like Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's like Pillsbury Dough Bear. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that black bear is probably a good 7, 800 pounds. Oh, yeah. It's kind of hard to tell from its distance, so I mean, but yeah, still, I mean, you don't want to mess with no bears. No. <laughs> no. Of any kind. No, a guy like me would be like a snack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thornton, he's more like a like a meal. Thornton could be more. Okay, like this is we're on our way to Wolf Bear exhibits. See what that looks like. Thornton's like a happy meal. <laughs> Can you guess the age of Trex Forest? <laughs> Starting from the 1800s, moving all the way up. They got a they got a fire in the 20s. Pretty sparse until the 50s there. It moved up. Day tomorrow. Huh. Okay. Thomas Wolf. Wolf? Wolf. Wolf. <laughs> Candy Slippers. Yeah, they got some out there, dude. Almost looks like a cub out there. I think. Apparently too far behind. Yeah. Well, no, it's sleeping right next to him. <laughs> See that? Yeah. Right there you're talking about. Yeah, straight. Straight. In. Yeah, straight ahead of us. Yeah. Mm. Dude. Dude, come here. Antlers. Whoa. They've been chowing or what? Dude. Now that's an interesting thing to see in the wolf exhibit. 
<laughs> ah, oh. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. He's dead. That's a wolf. That's a wolf. They got ones about that size out there in church and area. They used to have ones like that. Oh, yeah? About that big, too. <laughs> uh, that, I, I don't doubt that. Except this one's pretty right? Well, this one here is chowing down big time. Oh, wait, that's not real, huh? Okay. <laughs> that's like fairy tales and stuff. <laughs> Squirrels go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, never mind, that's a whole different show. <laughs> okay. okay, approaching the service area. That's the one. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. No, we, we came back here to see kitties. Service area. Well, that's not it. <laughs> there we go. Well, wait a second. Well, it says tracks. Where's the kitties? Where's the kitties? Okay. There we go. We got bobcats. See, that's kitty. That's adult. Bobcats. Right there in the corner. Oh, yeah. Right into my line of sight. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Don't worry, folks. Let's go down this way. Today, we're shooting animals with cameras, not guns. Okay. Good shot. Adult. Oh yeah. Dad, it's one pretty kitty. Yeah. It's a boob kitty. You ever notice that all the 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 members of the cat family they all act the same? That one's like pacing back and forth, just like a, like a house cat would. <laughs> That's a pretty cat. You don't want to mess there's with a bobcat, cat, so. Right there in the back. Way oh, wait a second. There's one coming out of a thing or something. Yeah, That's can't. a small one. A small kitty. This Meow. might appear as a small kitty, too. Meow. Meow. Did that just make that noise? What? Yeah. Yeah. They're making noise. I don't sound like a cat. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's my next cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think it's a pretty tiger. Yeah. Okay. See what I mean though? They, they all act the same. They just kind of pace back and forth. Very pretty kitty. Oh yeah? Just pacing back and forth. Waiting for something. What are they waiting for? Huh? <laughs> okay, bobtail and everything. Oh, Looks yeah. almost like the uh, bobcat. Yeah. Those pointed ears. <laughs> I got Spock ears. Yeah, we are definitely in cat country. Ow. Oh. You see what I mean? Every one of them, they, all they do is pace. pace. <laughs> Like they're waiting for something. Waiting for something to jump out at them. Very nervous. Oh, we're on the uh, tram. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you ready to take our tour? We're told it will take about 55 minutes. Ah, you guys might notice this beautiful body of water on the left. That is Horseshoe Lake. Oh. I know, that was so annoying. Across Horseshoe Lake, you might notice that there are some houses over there. Yeah, we don't. Does anybody know who those homes belong to? Bill Gates. Uh, Doc and Connie Hellier. They were the wonderful people who donated this land in 1971 in Metro Parks, Tacoma. Cool. And uh, we are actually celebrating our 25th anniversary. Open doors in July of 1975. So you might look over there and see those homes. They still live on the property. You know, they they uh, gave over 600 acres. They donated. So I guess it's all right. We'll let them stay for a little while longer. And it's such a beautiful day. 
I want to point out this hacking tower on the left. There's some eagles that were born into the park, and they actually use the hacking tower to release them. But you might see a couple, couple birds up there, some migratory birds taking advantage of the hacking tower. Those are the Canada geese. If you guys came to see Canada geese, oh, you guys are in luck. Because there are plenty of Canada geese out here. They uh, definitely come out and take advantage of the beautiful park here. So we'll have lots of them as we go on our tour. Male, oh, there are the elk. Elk are on the left. We'll get back to the Canada geese. Elk on the left bedded down. Now we're going to get another good view of the elk when we're on that road across the way there. But do you guys see those white bottoms? They're kind of sticking out. That's their rump patch. And that's a way that they can communicate with each other when they are alarmed about something, whether they hear a predator, smell something, smell a predator. They'll raise the hair on the, their rump patch and also their tail and it alerts the others in the herd that there's something going on. Now, uh, our next habitat we're going to go into will be the forest area. And uh, we got to keep our eyes open because there's lots of deer that can be hiding in the, in the forest. But I do want to point out this great hybrid here. It's the fourth tree in on the left. It's part dinosaur, part Douglas fir. It's the Douglasaurus. Can I see it there on the left? Do you guys know why it might grow like that? Do you have any ideas? But you guys see these logs and these stumps that are decaying away around here on the forest floor? Those are nurse stumps and nurse logs. And they're really great because Mother Nature recycles herself and puts them back into the soil. Now if you guys see a male in there that has some antlers that are growing straight up, there still are males that, that uh, kind of hang around mom. They're only about a year old. And then they kind of spike straight up. They look kind of like giraffes. And uh, that means that they're growing. That's their first set of antlers that they're growing. So they're kind of coming in there. But I don't see them out there. I don't see those spikes. You know, the Roosevelt elk were actually named after President Roosevelt. He uh, was definitely a conservationist, loved the elk. But here's another, here's another wetland. This is year-round, so this is a nice big wetland. What kind of animals do you think we're going to find in a wetlands area? There's some birds right there on the left. Of course, looks like those are the mallards. And uh, which one's the male and which one's the female? The male has that bright green head, doesn't he? And some say he's the more prettier bird. But actually, like I was talking about those Canada geese, you can tell them apart. That was called monomorphic. Well, the mallard ducks, you can't tell them apart, the male from the female, and that's diamorphic. And that's a great way, that's a great example of uh, how you can tell whether there's a, that's a bird that has to, to impress a mate every year for that crucial time, the breeding season, where it can pass those genes along. Oh, we've got the bison back in the trees on the right. You guys, oh, I could have just totally passed them. They look like stumps, don't they? They're on the right. Do you see them? They're all getting out of the sun. You know, those, looks like, let's see, there's all, you know, males and females alike are in that herd. And do you guys, you guys can tell the difference between the male and the females by their horns. The male's horns are more of an L shape. The females are over their head. Brown. Do you guys know why the, the, there would be a difference in the horns like that? Well, actually, the males need to use the horns in battle, and the females are usually in charge of the calves. Do you guys see any little ones out there? I'm trying to look. They'll be bright orange. They're bright orange in color, but the, the moms are in charge, you know, they got to take charge of the calves. And uh, they need to push them around a little bit, they don't want to injure them, so their their horns are curved more over their head. But you know, the calves are actually bright orange in color when they're born, and uh, that's a great adaptation that they have to, to ward off predators, because their main predator is the wolf, and wolves are colorblind.
So when they look over in the grass in a grass area and they see the orange there, it, it, the hues actually blend together. And as long as that calf is still, the wolf will just mistake it as a lump of grass and go on. And that swan that's sitting there is a tender swan, and the reason why I know it's a tender swan, also known as a whistler swan, there's a yellow dot underneath its eye because the tender swan and the trumpeter swan, which there's one of in the row straight ahead, they look the same except for that yellow dot. And also the, the tender swans, just a tiny bit smaller, but they're just massive birds. They're so large that um, if one of them were to get inside the tram and spread its wings, we would have to open the windows because they've got a wingspan of eight feet. Their wingtips would have to go out. Oh, Looks like there's a couple of wood duck on the way. Oh, I see. Yeah, they're walking down to the shore on the left. Do you guys see any little ones with them? Because those are the females. So, no little ones? Yeah. Yeah, you want to sit right here? Yeah. We're getting back to those adaptations. No? They've got, a, they've got their skull is twice the size, the thickness of a normal skull, and also they have special tendons in their necks that absorb. You see how they're kind of laying on their bellies there? They can't lay on their sides, but they can't lay on their sides for longer than 15 minutes because their sheer size will crush their internal organs. They need to either get back on their belly or stand up or switch to the other side. But you see they're losing their uh, winter coat. The bulls are over there on the right, yeah, way over there on that hill. Look at that big thing. Isn't that big? Oh, I think with the way where those elk are, it's going to be hard to see them when we get on the road that's closer to it because they're on that back side of the hill. She's chewing on her cut. Yeah, she's a ruminant animal, which means that uh, those herd animals kind of have to go out real quick. The prey animals, they need to eat and go. And they have a they have multiple stomachs. And so they, they kind of they grab some food, they store it in the stomach, and more bacteria can start to, to digest it. And then they bring it back up, and they have a chance to stop. It looks like those are black tail deer over there. They are. They're standing on my legs. They are. Uh, yeah. They are black tail deer. <laughs> the, oh, the one on the right is getting up. Getting joined with everybody. Do you guys see that gland on that back leg? There's a whole, there's more on the left. Oh, there's some up ahead on the left. Yeah, kind of in the shade. Yeah, just on that side of this tree. I wonder if that first one is Who can picture that black tail deer? But that, the woodland caribou, and of course you see this green here. Just look at that rabbit on the outside. Four months. Four months to grow a set of It's just amazing. It can grow one inch in a 24 hour period. What? Now, uh, those ones are caribou, they're really the ones. Those are all females and they've got those Look antlers that. growing. About 60% of the woodland caribou population of females will grow antlers. And uh, they do so because they need to get food in the wintertime. You notice this road is like only yeah. wide enough for this tram. So like you look down and you see ground. You don't see the pavement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Look at that. Yeah, that's a good drop. Oh, sure.
Pavilion. They got quite a quite a good-sized place to uh, have your lunch here, and uh, yeah. And here we got the uh, crow exhibit. Oh wait, that's not part of the tour. <laughs> and the wetlands exhibit, <laughs> as you can see. Huh? You have the, uh, the uh, tree and bush exhibit. Yes. <laughs> this is the unexciting stuff that, that I'm sure you see plenty enough of that at home. Yeah. Okay. Northwest Trek, dedicated July 16th, 1975 by Governor Daniel J. Evans. Quite a bit of people involved in this. So that's what this big rock is. <laughs> that is a very big rock. Okay, folks, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we hope you enjoyed your tour of uh, the Northwest Trek. Trek, 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 Trek. Engage. <laughs> um, the uh, we're in the the town here is actually called Eatonville. Um, here in Washington State, um, it's kind of like the you, you folks from St. Helens. You know, you know about uh, like Eaton's Tires. This is like his same own thing. town. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> so uh, uh, we hope you enjoyed your tour. Uh, it would have been better, you know, weren't for you know this uh, screaming kid behind us on the tram. Ah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, other than that, it's pretty quiet around here. Uh, X law, and then there's the guy mowing the grass, but. Uh, that's to be expected. And the pop bottle just fell off the back of my car, but that's okay. Other than that, it's quiet. <laughs> so uh, uh, we want to thank you for watching. I know we, we, we never seem to do that at the end of our show. We, we, we always uh, say we hope you enjoyed the show, but we never thank our viewers for watching. I, that, that should be a good idea. Just watching is enough. Watching is enough. <laughs> yeah, but we do want to thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, you may be asleep at this point. <laughs> but if you're still with us... Uh, Conscious? Yeah. Don't hear it? Don't worry, there'll be more shows. <laughs> uh, so we want to thank you for watching, and uh, that's going to do it. So, uh, uh, for Road Trips, I'm Todd Hilton. And I'm Gary Bradley. And we'll see you next time for the next episode of... Road Trips! Road Trips!